Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars and welcome back to the channel. Today is unfortunately the first snowfall of the year and it's uh, the middle of November. So looks like we're gonna have a, a nice cold winter this year. But uh, I went last night to the east side of Des Moines and picked up this originally black 1958 Chevy Impala two door. It looks a little better in the next portion of the video without the snow on it, but we'll, uh, we'll document pulling it out of the building and I will talk about this car, how it came to be, and, uh, and the history behind the 58, 59, and 60 Impalas. So anyways guys, enjoy the beautiful snowscape here and let's get started. All right, so I'm here in Des Moines and uh, here's the 58. It's in an old garage. The best way to find them kind of uh, just tucked away. Missing a lot of the side chrome and the interior here. But you know, it's not a, not a bad start to a good project. The rockers have a little bit of rust in them, but not too bad. Uh, the floor has been kind of patched together here. But these have just the best roof line to them. Some kind of hospital permit there. It's got a Biscayne front clip on it. No motor, no trans. Uh, there's a trunk lit or um, a hood. He has some other parts here for it, but it's a, a two-tone car, black with a white roof. Not sure what the color of the interior is here, but just a really cool find. So we're gonna try to get this thing out of here and, uh, and go from there. All right guys, so now that I'm back from work here, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this car. And it's great because we have a 58 Impala right here and a 59 Impala right here. Now the snow is gonna make this a little more difficult here, but we can talk about it nonetheless. So the story that I've always kind of known is that obviously car designers uh, save some money on tooling and use the same body or the same general body shape for you know three or four years at a time. They were also designing and getting tooling ready for these cars two to three years in advance. So the 58 model was designed and approved in 1955 or 1956. Well, this body style, the 58 body style, was supposed to run through 1960. However, I believe it was one of Bill Mitchell's teams at GM when they were previewing the 1957 Mopar, saw how radical the fins were, how low, low they looked, how good they looked, and how sleek they were. And, you know, from the 57 standpoint and the 58 standpoint, which would be the new body style, it was just kind of long, tall, wide, clunky, heavy, just kind of outdated cars. So the 58 model was already you know, stamped, um, you know, all the stuff was ready to go, kind of finalized, and it couldn't really be canceled. So the 58 model was built, but 59 was completely retooled to match the fins and the craziness of the 57 Mopar. So in this car here, he did put the original steering wheel back in the car, but the seats are obviously not original. Looks like a blazer bucket seat. No back seat, no door panels, really not a whole lot of anything in here other than the steering wheel. The steering wheel is 58 Impala only as it's got the full horn ring. 59 would only have this lower section. So this part up would be gone. 
This car is an original paint. I'm, I'm sorry. I should say it's not original paint, but it is originally a black with a white top two-tone car. So it's onyx black with arctic white. That paint code, I will show you guys here in a second, is 950E. 806A is a tritone black, gray, and turquoise interior, which is a really pretty color. So this car brand new would have been a showstopper. I'm gonna put Felix inside here. He's getting cold and, and I left him inside all day today and he needs to go back inside. So let me uh, put him in and I'll be right back. So in addition to the 58 model kind of being outdated, um, I guess by designer terms, the year 1958 was also a Eisenhower recession. So in 57, about 1.5 million 57 Chevys were built. And in 1958, I believe the production numbers were right at 1.15 million. So about 350,000 less cars were built just because of the recession. I'm not gonna scrape all this snow off here. Or I'll be frozen cold for the next 15 minutes. But the trunk lids are also specific. So a two-door hardtop Impala trunk lid will not fit a two-door hardtop Bel Air. The Impalas also have the three tail lights, two brake, one reverse. And they do start to show the fin right here. It's kind of a, a gradual, gradual increase there. Let me see if I can get a better look. But the fin is very um, subdued compared to 59, whereas it still shares that same original curvature right there on the 59 though, it's a lot sharper. I mean, it's quicker there. And then the fin on a 59 sticks out a whole lot more. So they were definitely trying to copy the big fins of the Mopars. And I think the 59 Chevy is the perfect example of fins, but it all started in 1958. So if we look at the roof here, the 58 Impala is its own body style. And it's actually got a body line right here. And it's kind of hard to show in the video, but this is a body line. And on Pontiacs, I believe on the Bonnevilles and then like the big Buicks and Oldsmobiles, um, if it is a two-tone car, there'd be a piece of trim right here. And a lot of Impala guys look for that trim just to kind of style up their, their Chevys. So really not a whole lot today in this video. It was fun pulling out of the building, um, getting that done right before, right before the snowstorm. Unfortunately, now we have snow on the ground and and it's not gonna get warm enough to melt anytime soon. So winter is here for the next four or so months, I'm sure, five months maybe. But nonetheless, we have to rescue these old cars when we can. This car popped up on Facebook. I wanna give Javier a uh, shout out. He was a man of his word. A lot of guys were messaging him trying to get the car and I'm glad he held it for me here. Another cool thing on these Impalas is the pitchfork style right here in the bottom. There is a piece of trim that fits in that, but it's gone. As well as in the back here, it's got like a, uh, like a jet kind of a body line as well. As you guys can see, it sticks out right there. I mean, that's a 58 thing. Every 58's got that. But the uh, Impala is the only one with the, uh, the pitchfork. I wish this car had its trim. I mean, these cars are beautiful, especially with all the, the side chrome and the moldings, but he got it out of cent or, you know, central southern Iowa, and it's had some work done to it, but uh, it needs a lot of work here as well. You can see someone's patched in uh, the quarter and done some welding here, but it still needs a little bit of love. The rockers are kind of blown out. The floors need some, some patching, but at the end of the day, it is a low production, one year only body style, one roof line only body style, and you just don't really see them a whole lot anymore. So this has been a very fun car to, uh, to rescue. If I, uh, if I can find some pictures of the car originally, you know, with the two-tone black, uh, black and white top and then the interior, I'll put that in the video. This is a Biscayne front clip, so obviously the colors don't match. Um, the uh, front clip has the same color as my hands right now because I'm stupid and don't wear gloves. But yeah, just a great looking body style, 58, 59 Impala. Two of the best ones to own. I'm glad I finally own a 58. This is my first one. But it's amazing how this car here 
is a 59 and this car being a 58, how they're so similar yet so vastly different. I mean, it still kind of shares, you know, the, the fin and the sport, you know, the fastback roof. Um, the X-Frame, the X 58 was the first year, the X-Frame, um, dual headlights that are sitting like this versus like this. But then you look at the 59 and the bodies are just so different. You can definitely tell that they scrapped the tooling and went to a completely different body for 1959. Nonetheless, it is a great story of uh, triumph and you know sometimes your failures you have to kind of uh, take take advice from other companies and other people and you can build something incredible like this car here but nonetheless the 58 GM awesome car. All right guys and finally today um, I can't really go any farther in the building because it's so dark in here but we are starting to get some piping and some uh, electric work getting done in here. So before too long, we'll have, uh, we'll have nice lights. And actually, he's starting to get them. Well, you can't really see it, but he's starting to build the, uh, the framing for that. So before too long, we'll have lights. All right, everybody, if you enjoyed the quick video today, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. You know, what do you guys think about the 58 GM? I like the hard top, you know, convertible fastback roof line. The four doors and the two door sedans just don't do anything for me. I would much rather own a 59 four door than a 58 four door. But let me know what you guys think, you know, and uh, let me know your opinions as well on, on the copying of the tail fin idea from Mopar. Um, you know, I love the 57 Chrysler, the 57 Plymouth. Awesome looking cars, but I think GM took it one notch uh, further and made it perfect. So thank you all for watching. My name is Ryan with Hollywood Classic Cars. I'll catch you next week, and until next time, I'm out.